Canada is a confident, creative, resourceful, and resource-rich nation. We are wealthy and influential country by world standards. We are also a country of 35 million people living next door to one roughly 10 times our size and the world's only superpower. My father, Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau, once compared this to sleeping next to an elephant. But while you, my American friends, may be an elephant, Canada is no mouse. More like a moose. Strong and peaceable, but still massively outweighed. And so, we need to work harder to make our points, to advocate for the interests of Canadian families in a way that will connect down here. That applies across the range of our national interests, from the fight against climate change, to job creation, to our common defense. Because, let's face it, this is another truth about good neighbors. Sometimes we take each other for granted. Sometimes the very dependability and ease of a relationship can lead to us paying too little attention. When that happens, the principals invariably live to regret it. My friends, we in Canada decided we would not allow that to happen to our relationship with the United States of America. Canadians still smart when they recall President Theodore Roosevelt's tough instructions to Oliver Wendell Holmes, Jr. on the occasion of the Alaska-Yukon boundary arbitration. But how many of your historians have ever noted what Canada's first Prime Minister, John A. Macdonald, was at one time contemplating as your fate? In 1867, that gentleman wrote to a correspondent in Calcutta, and I quote, War will come someday between England and the United States, and India can do us a yeoman service by sending an army of Sikhs, Gurkhas, and Baluchis across the Pacific to San Francisco, and holding that beautiful and immoral city with the surrounding California as security for Montreal and Canada. <laughs> You see, Mr. Chairman, that although Canadians have not always been able to follow through, we should never be so, so short on imaginative proposals. <laughs> Indeed, a question which some of your Canadian newspaper colleagues are now beginning to ask about my government is whether our ideas are capable of implementation. Well, it's a valid question. Imaginative and original approaches to problem solving are always welcome, but they must be practical, and even more important, they must be effective. Some of our policies may be of interest to this audience, and with your permission, I should like to speak about several of them in a few minutes. But first, let me say that it should not be surprising that if these policies, in many instances, either reflect or take into account the proximity of the United States. Living next to you is in some ways like sleeping with an elephant. No matter how friendly or even tempered is the beast, if I can call it that, where one is affected by every twitch and grunt. 